It's great to see you back again this week for another painting. This was last week's painting. This is how this one dried. My views on this piece, I really like it. I like the way that these two blocks of color, top and bottom, allows you to sort of see through the painting. And I especially love the way that this tone sort of hits this. It's quite like a mist coming down over the sea. And then you've got the waves in there. So the, yeah, that's, that's what I see in this painting, this abstract painting. Now this week, I want to sort of steer away from seascapes and we're going to go back to creating like a textured abstract but like a contemporary textured abstract now one of you lovely people left a comment down below in one of my videos and that comment was in relation to the tile adhesive so um, if you've been following me i use tile adhesive to create my texture but yes one of you viewers out there you left a comment down below and you said why don't you try mixing in uh, a load of pva glue into the tile adhesive, which is brilliant because that's what this channel is all about. It's all about reading, going through your comments, picking up on each other's tips, and I thought I'd give it a try. This is really heavy, by the way. Some tile adhesive with just some normal PVA glue in with a mix. The ratio, I'll probably do like a quarter of PVA to um, sort of one part mix of the tile adhesive. So I'm gonna get that mixed up. We're gonna take this canvas down, brand new canvas on the wall. I'll probably create this piece in sort of two sessions, one to do the texture and then one to do the actual painting. Oh, just one thing, if you're new to this channel, if you just stumbled across me, I'm James. The channel is called Flowworks. Every single Wednesday I do a piece of art and I document every single piece of art that I create. I paint once a week and once a week only. I don't practice anything. Everything that you see is basically live and recorded and I put that video out there and yes I have made mistakes but that's for you at home to learn from people's mistakes so yes if you're really into your painting and you want to sort of pick up some great tips and techniques then yeah definitely subscribe to this channel right with all that being said I'm going to take this one down we're going to put a new canvas up and we're going to be painting in the square format exactly the same so sit back relax and enjoy this video I've got three big scoops of the tile adhesive, put it into this big paint tub, and I've probably poured about a quarter to the ratio of PVA glue in there. And what it's done, it's created like a, a more flexible, you can see already that it's, it should be more flexible. So I think this is gonna work. Um, whereas tile adhesive is quite coarse to start with uh, and quite hard to sort of Put onto the canvas so yeah i think this is going to go on a lot easier so yeah we're just going to get a big dollop of that i'm just going to start off in the in the middle now i think i'm going to still use the same idea as i do with when i'm using the other tile adhesive is not to go too thick so this is like really really thick at the minute now some of my most popular videos i use this window squeegee so I thought I'd get it out again and we're going to sort of play about with this and spread it out onto the whole canvas itself yeah what this does with the squeegee is it sort of builds up so you're just going to have to scrape it off again and just reapply it I'm just trying to get as much product on there as possible and then I'm gonna try and work on a bit of a, a layout as, as to how I want the marks. Okay, so yeah, now that I've got quite a bit on there, we're just gonna go through and just mark it up a bit. Right, I'm happy with the mark making. So yeah, essentially you're just trying to get as much of the product on as possible. Not too thick as well, don't really sort of cake it on. I have got a couple of areas of interest that are quite thick, um, but yeah, it's sort of mainly in this area here. So on the edges, when the canvas stretch over, stretches round, it shouldn't crack. Thanks to one of my viewers that commented down below about putting PVA in the tile adhesive. It's gonna be really interesting to see how this one 
turns out. So yeah, everything's an experiment. And uh, this is the first step of the experiment. Stick around because we're gonna let this dry. We're gonna come back and we're gonna create our painting. And just quickly, if you wanna support this channel, I've got a Patreon page set up with three different tiers. All of my artwork is on my website, which is flowworks.uk. And in each of those tiers, it will give you some sort of benefits um, towards the website as well. Right, I'm gonna get these cleaned up, let that dry. We're gonna come back and we're gonna paint over the top. Right, that's had a couple of days to dry. And essentially when it was wet, it was really heavy. So I had to take it off the wall, lay it flat and it dried out. Now there is a little bit of cracking in some of the areas, but that's all good. Cause that's all part of the painting, all part of the texture. But I have noticed it sort of ruffled the edges a bit, but I'm hoping once it's stretched, stretched around the canvas, it should sit actually quite um, well on the canvas bars. But yes, if you're following along at home, maybe doing it on a big piece of plywood board might be a little bit better. Now, because this has got the tile adhesive on it, um, the paint really doesn't sort of move too well. So you might have to sort of wet it as well as we go along. Slightly wet it as well. Okay, I'm just going to pick up on a little bit of that buff titanium and get that in there. And what we're going to do is I'm get some tissue. I'm just going to dab that in places, which is going to create that sort of texture. I went in quite heavy with that Payne's grey but I've pretty much taken it out but I'm just it's just creating that earthy texture to it okay then in the next section we're going to go still haven't cleaned the brush I've still got essence of this colour in there but I'm just going to pick up on more white and that sort of that leads into a bit of a white area on this one so nice and quick get your white in there Thick bit of texture there, absolutely love it. Don't forget, you can follow along at home on this one. There's not really that many colours, it's white, Payne's grey, and we're just going to use a couple of blues in a minute. sort of get these as block sections in there maybe yeah, it's quite white in this middle part okay that's looking good I just want to tone this down just a little bit up there right that's good right we're now going to move into the blue section so your paint should look a little bit like this it's still got some of that vibrant blue on there but also the paint's growing we're just gonna get that in Roughly this sort of section. Ooh, that sugar sweet. You got what I need. Sipping on the potion. Didn't want it quite as dark at the top, so just picking up on, on some white in with that. Okay, fresh bit of tissue. Switch it up, switch it up, switch it up where I'm going. Stay on the fly just in time, know the right way to go. I'm on the run, it's my time. Taking control of my life. I want to run the red lights. I've got to run this show. You always take me so high. You always make the highlights. I love the way we vibe up. You're like a Santa phone. Oh, that 
Okay, we're gonna go in slightly different blue for the next bit. This is primary blue, and it's just a bit of a deeper blue than this. So I'm, I'm mixing, or I'm putting that out on the palette you'll see in a minute. But that's right next to this blue. I'm gonna mix this in with a bit of Payne's Grey because I want the bottom section to be quite deep, a real deep blue. And I'll probably start off a little bit quite light. Gonna make it right, little like it never I can refuse. I'm on the road, it's my time, taking control of my life. I want to run the red lights, I've got to run this show. You always take me so high, you always make the highlights. I love the way we vibe up, you're like a set of foes. middle section I'm trying to bleed this blue up into it as well so get some paint on there what I'm going to do now is pick up on some real sort of heavy blue areas and I'm just going to add just dabs of them in there all will become apparent. Same tissue. Now we're really going to wet this sort of area in the middle. And we're trying to get some of that paint to drip down. We've got these uh, drip marks sort of appearing now through all the dark area underneath which is really good okay we're just picking up on some of that white and I'm just sort of touching ever so slightly over some of these raised areas where we applied the um, tile adhesive it's given off some real nice textures and I'll just just trying to highlight them in some way. And then vice versa with the Payne's Grey, there's a real nice big bit of texture here. Just gonna add some of that colour to that texture. Okay, this is starting to take shape. There's a couple of bits that are just bugging me slightly. That is just a little bit too much of the buff titanium up there, so I just want to put some white in this area. Okay, you can sort of leave these marks in here, but what I'm going to do on mine, I think they're just a little bit too overpowering. I think the white marks in the blue are really nice, but I'm going to try and blend these in just a little bit. But I'm still sort of dabbing over where that texture is. This is the sort of effect in the middle that I was really hoping for and it seems as though if you make it really wet like the paint and then you get your tissue and really dab it, it will sort of pull the paint off with it revealing the layer underneath. 
But yes, this is exactly what I wanted to create from this piece. This is really sort of contemporary and abstract and a real good use of sort of tones and colors. And then mixed in underneath with that real, real heavy texture, I think adds to this piece. And I can't wait for this one to be stretched onto a canvas and hung on a wall. So there you go. If you're into your abstract art just as much as me, please like and subscribe. If anything, either give this one a thumbs up or a thumbs down. That way I can see if you're liking my art. And this original piece, will be for sale on my website, which is flowworks.uk. So go check that out. We've got some other stuff on there. We're gonna have um, digital print stuff on there and photography as well. So yes, go check out this piece of art on there if you want. Not only do you get the chance to get your hands on the original, but I also do every single piece. I do 25 limited edition prints as well. So please contact me if you're after a limited edition print and we can discuss how you want them finished as either just a uh, finished print or as a, a canvas as well. I hope I've encouraged you at home to give this one a try. As you can see, you can create some absolutely stunning pieces of art if you really put your mind to it and put the effort in, in terms of painting. If this is your first time you've stumbled across me, I'm James, this is Flowworks, and I'll probably keep going on about this, but every single piece of art that I create, I document and film, nothing is practiced beforehand. That way I can see a progression in my art and share all the tips and tricks and also the mistakes as well. So you can learn from my mistakes as well at home. And yeah, not every single piece of art that I create, I am happy with. If you sort of look back through my videos, there's some on there that was, well, yeah, there's a handful on there that I really, really do not like. But I think it's important to share them and also to get your opinion as well. Right, that's enough of me chatting. I'll see you in next week's Flowworks next week at 8 p.m. Have a great week. <laughs>